Hello, my name is Mark Todd and this is Ars Longa, a new art program about contemporary art in Thailand and other parts of Asia. We hope to show you some of the interesting art that's happening in this part of the world. And today, I'd like to introduce you to a recent exhibition entitled Return Ticket, Thailand, Germany, which was held at the BACC in Bangkok, Thailand. And it was sponsored by the Goeth Institute during their 50th anniversary. Uh, this exhibition focused on some of the issues surrounding globalization and national identity. But I'll let the curator, Axel Voice explain the rest. Let's check him out now. Yes, hello, Saudi Cup. My name is Axel Feuss and I'm a German. I'm a freelance art exhibition curator and writer and an art historian. So I've been teaching in Bangkok and Silapakon University for six semester art history. And for the last eight or ten months, I've been preparing this art exhibition return ticket Thailand, Germany for the Goethe Institute in Bangkok. always comes with cultural projects. At the beginning there was an idea, so I met uh, one of my colleagues in Silapakon University, our former dean, Ajahn Panyavijin Tanasan, in a little lunch time, and he asked me, why don't you actually make an art exhibition about Thai artists who have studied in Germany? We have so many of them. And at this moment I thought, actually, it's a good idea, it's a fine idea, and I must propose it to somebody and I proposed it to the Goethe Institute and at this time was very lucky. So the Goethe Institute has its 50th anniversary in Thailand, in Bangkok this year and they said actually it's a good idea. On this occasion we make an art exhibition and this would be a good idea. So it came to this exhibition return ticket Thailand, Germany. Yeah, sure. So. Um, after, after this idea, after an, any idea in a cultural project, there's a time of research. So you must uh, have a research which artists and how many artists possibly fit to this idea. And uh, I made a research of some months, so three or four months. Um, and I read some hundreds of artists' biographies and I asked my colleagues, the professors in Silapakon University. And if I found an artist, I asked him, do you know anyone else of your companions, of your friends who have studied in Germany? So finally, I got a list of 32 or something like that, artists who have studied in Germany or who had serious projects in Germany, like uh, uh, big art exhibitions or taking part in, in the documenta in Kassel like uh, Ajahn Sakharin Kruyaon or um, young artist who had an uh, artist in residency in, in, in a Künstlerhaus, in an uh, artist's house for example in Munich or in Dresden or something like that. So finally I had, an, I had a list of 30 or 32 and then I wrote emails to them and Finally, I got a list of 29, so not everybody can always take part because it's not the time or um, too much work for one artist to take part in an exhibition. But then I had a list, and this list contained, or now contains 29 artists uh, who range from an age of 70 years old until 32 years old. <clears throat> so three generation, generations actually of artists. And we have, I must admit, the finest of Thai artists among them. Um, for example, like Prapan Sisuta, uh, with an age a little bit over 70 years old, who is the master of woodcut in Thailand and who was honored for his life work 
in uh, exhibitions in the National Gallery and in uh, Silapakorn University. And he show, in this exhibition, he shows the famous woodcuts from Thai rural life. That means from the Thai countryside, from the villages. And interestingly, he made these sketches for his woodcuts in 1965 and 1966 in Germany, in Berlin. That was very amazing to me that these very famous art pieces, very famous for Thailand, they were sketched, they were designed in Germany. Why was it like this? We have the same phenomenon with other Thai artists who go to other countries and then feel lonesome feel very lonesome and they ha don't have their Thai food, they don't have their friends and not their family, and they think about Thailand and they start doing some Thai art, some Buddhist art, so back to the roots actually. We have it with some other artists in this exhibition too. So and then we have, for example, um, Kun Som Boon Hom Tien Tong, who is also an, uh, one of the elder artists who stayed in Germany for 20 years in Munich together with his good friend Somyot Hananantasuk. But Somboon came back to Thailand 10 years ago and is now living in Chiang Khan. And his friend Somyot Hananantasuk is still living in Germany. But also we have young artists, um, for example, like the famous Ankrit Achshaya Sopon, um, who lives in Chiang Mai and who had been to Germany just for an artist in residency, had been artist in residency uh, in a town near Dresden for three months and who went around Germany to visit all the other artists. And we have also young media artists like uh, Kossit uh, Jantara Tip and Morakot Ketglau from Chiang Mai, um, who have uh, very fine media art and mixed media art um, works in this exhibition. Uh, Kul Morakot um, has an internet interactive um, piece where you can record your own voice and transmit it on a screen and then you have your own color diagram, the own color diagram for your own voice and then she compares it on oil paintings to her own color diagram. And very popular, of course, is the container in front of uh, BACC, where Kosit uh, Jantaratip has a tattoo project. So everybody coming there can get a free, pro uh, a free tattoo, but only of his own um, designed tattoo, which means if there is love, there is suffering. So if you like, you can come there, get a free tattoo, if you want another tattoo, for example, an anchor or a little lady on your chest or anywhere, you must pay for that. But inside is also a very interesting um, video from his tattoo performance. So he got the tattoo from this uh, project, if there is love, there is suffering, of course, in Thai language, on his head. And you can visit this performance, seeing it in a video. Sure, we have also um, interactive artworks where people can participate. For example, we have an installation by At Boom Deng On, a young artist, I think 34 years old, um, who still lives in Frankfurt, but also uh, in a town near Chiang Mai. So he comes back uh, two times per year. And uh, there we have, a, in this installation, we have a stair like in a Thai temple and around many um, uh, paintings and Buddhist sculptures and um, other images from Thai Pumikata and you can take them in your hands and look at them, place them in other places uh, in the installation, put them on the stairs, put them back in a, in a bag um, that is normally um, used by monks in the temple so you can interact with this piece. A more traditional um, installation is the one of uh, Thai Vijit Peng Kasem Somboon from Chiang Mai, for example. We have it here in this room in, uh, in the middle. Um, it is about stability. So there's a big painting leaning at the wall, not hanging, but leaning at the wall. And there is a sofa standing on some rocks 
which means actually instability, not stability as quoted on the painting, but instability. And in front of this is a big lamp where you, you should not, but actually you could sit on it and read a book. This is a bookshelf and it is a, um, it is a lamp at the same time. And it is something like a living room. So what does it mean actually? He says it's stability, but what you see is instability because if you would sit down on the sofa, which is standing on the rocks, it would shake and it would be unstable. So he thinks about um, political situation in many countries, not only in Thailand, but everywhere in the world. Politicians are suggesting us that the political situation at the very moment is absolutely stable. But you, as a newspaper reader and as a news um, viewer you know no actually it is unstable and he wants to give you this suggestion think about is our life actually our political situation in Thailand or in other country is it actually stable or is it unstable so we have many pieces who refer to societal problems we have many pieces who refer to um, societal problems in Thailand Many of the artists think that Thailand has lost many of his, its Buddhist traditions. So I have no opinion to this because I'm a foreigner, but many artists say, okay, we must back to the roots, actually. Um, artist Sakharin Kriyaon, he's a professor at Silapakorn University, shows a rice installation and he says, okay, Thai people should go back actually, not only shopping and looking television and, and interacting in Facebook or in other sites and internet, but back to the roots to rice growing. If everybody would do some rice growing, perhaps we could improve Thai society to a better, to a better communication of everybody to a better state. Thai contemporary art as I see it has many facets. So when I came to Thailand six years ago as a traveler, as a tourist, I got a complete wrong idea about Thai art. I saw some exhibitions here and some exhibitions there, many kitschy things, and I thought, ah, interesting, this is Thai art. But this is the typical view of a foreigner who doesn't know anything. So after six years um, experience with Thai art and teaching in, in, in an art faculty of a university, now I know how to select, how to select the tourist kitsch from the real good things. And after six years, I must say it is as an all educated, well educated countries, you have a very high level of contemporary art in installation, in painting, in sculpture, in interactive art, in computer art, in media art, in all fields of art. And you have, of course, all the other fields, decorative uh, prints and decorative paintings and tourist art and airport art and everything. So as a foreigner, when you come, you get not the right view, of course, at the first glance, but after some good experience and it takes three or four years to look, have a good look into it and to visit many exhibitions and many openings at the galleries, you see that there is a really interesting art scene in Thailand and I would hope that in Europe more galleries or also in Australia and America more galleries would be specialized in Thai art because they are very, very, very much interesting things in Thai art. Yes, sure. So um, societies of all countries in the world are very different. Um, in Germany, for example, we have more than 6,500 museums and 500 
exhibition houses. I learned it because I just made a lecture about the museum scene in, in Germany and I made a little research on this and we had one, we, in Germany we have one million visitors in museums and additionally seven million visitors in art exhibition houses. You cannot compare it to another society, perhaps even not to Italy or to, or to England where we have completely different art scenes. Um, and I'm not sure whether you should project the Western standard always to Thailand. If I would do that, I would say um, perhaps it takes the next 20 or 30 years to have the same um, as in Europe, the same lively, lively art scene, the same uh, numbers of collectors, but I don't know whether it should be like this, because it's a different country. You have a different tradition, you have uh, different religions, people have other interests and um, a different background. On the other hand, art is always the interest of the middle class. Middle class in Thailand is growing rapidly. Uh, people become wealthier in Thailand and these normally in all countries of the world, the middle and the upper class, from this uh, part of society come the collectors. And I would hope that middle class people in Thailand would not collect art only as a decoration for their homes, for their living rooms, but also go to contemporary art exhibitions and buy something which is perhaps not so decorative, but interesting. Every kind of art is interesting in, in op seeing the opinion of an artist about, about what, is, what are visual things in our world, about what is the problem in society. So if you especially see the paintings by Vasan Sitiket, they are always always criticizing society, not only, not only society in Thailand, but for example his paintings in our um, exhibition, they point on global warming, about the problem that global warming and uh, natural catastrophes will cause for the whole world. We have the painting Sandstorm and Blood Rain, perhaps they are not so decorative, but they are highly interesting artworks and I think that people from Thai middle or upper class should collect them because it's Thai culture, it's opinion of Thai artists and you should keep it for the future. So um, if you see the development of society, I, I, I see it sometimes a little bit like the situation 30 years ago uh, in Europe in the 1970s. Many people said, we don't know enough, we don't know, and, and modern art and, 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 and all these pieces are not interesting to us. But society is developing and education is developing in every country. And um, when I go to the bookshops in Thailand, I see many, many, many um, books about contemporary art and people buy them. But it takes some time. It takes time for young people to be educated. It takes uh, time for a society um, of being educated. And you cannot do that from, from nowadays until tomorrow. It's a, it's a long development. And uh, as I saw it in, in, in Germany, it took the last 50 years 
And in other countries in, in America, in, it began in the 1940s, so it, it, took, it took around 50 or 60 or 70 years to develop society, to have a view on contemporary art, and not contemporary art, but also on contemporary music and literature. It's a, it's a problem of education and development. And I would not say that um, what we have now in Thailand is bad. It is developing, and in 20 years, perhaps I will not see it, and you will not see it, but we will see that uh, society will develop and there's much interaction with other countries from Southeast Asian, uh, from Southeast Asia, so with Singapore and also with China and 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 uh, Japan, and there is a big development, but we cannot do it, and Thai people cannot do it from today until tomorrow. Um, um, of course, it is developing, and I see that uh, many Thai artists uh, communicate over Facebook and the internet, and there's a big interaction with uh, the whole world actually. So I am very fond of Thai art, and I see so many good pieces, and and I see many pieces which I could not see in in Europe, which I could not see in Germany, which are very exciting. Um, so I am not anxious of Thai art, especially when I see how many art faculties we have in Bangkok. We have several universities with very good uh, art faculties and work in these faculties are much better sometimes than what I know from old, good old Europe or good old Germany. What did you think about the exhibition? Or what do you think about the show? Send us an email here, we'd love to know. Also, you can come back next week and check out our program. We'll be talking to a famous Thai art director about a very interesting competition that just happened. See you next week. ASEAN TV, 10 nations, one vision.